Drugs like marijuana are known to dramatically impact emotional perception and emotional responsiveness. So what we've been looking at is how um, drugs that act on the receptor system in the brain that marijuana acts on, which is called the cannabinoid system, how modulating that system can actually control emotional responsiveness and emotional memory formation. Is, uh, there's a lot of evidence suggesting that different doses of drugs that act on the cannabinoid system can have different effects on behaviors and emotion. We weren't expecting this say, to see such a dramatic functional difference between just two different doses within, a, within the same brain area. What we saw was that at the lower dose, the dose that seemed to induce this emotional ramping up, this, these, these uh, behavioral feelings of paranoia, we actually saw that it correlated with a dramatic increase in the activity of the brain's dopamine system. But in the exact opposite fashion, the, the dose that sort of flooded the frontal cortex and led to this um, emotional blunting effect, it actually completely shut down the brain's dopamine pathway. So these basically opposite effects uh, controlling the brain's dopamine system had opposing effects on the ability of the animals to experience these emotional responses. I think one philosophical message that we can um, uh, extract from what we do is that we cannot talk about cannabinoids as a single effect. We have to be aware that, as the old Greek Greece, um, philosopher said, that the dose make the poison. Here it's the same. Depending on which area, depending on the dose, you have totally opposite effects. So cannabis is not good, it's not bad, it's relative.